Hi guys, this is uh, Leicester Driving Test Centre and it's test route number one and it's one of 15 for the Leicester Driving Test Centre. This is the centre at um, Tigers Road, um, so it's the one in Wigston and we're turning left out of the test centre car park, left again and it's bringing us on to Saffron Road. Um, now if you look at the Port Pie Island uh, videos I've made, I've called this road Saffron Way it's actually Saffron Road, so I've got that wrong. So there you go, not perfect. I don't know why, I used to live here. I don't know why I called this Saffron uh, Way, but there it is. I'm gonna turn right at the, round, at the first mini roundabout, which is gonna take us into Gloucester Crescent. So it looks like it's gonna be clear for us to go around here. So just turning right there. And now we're in Gloucester Crescent. And then we're not going to stay on Gloucester Crescent for very long because we're turning left straight away, uh, first left into uh, Cumberland Road. And already we can see there's a van parked in the way, so I'm just going to check the door mirror. I'm going to move out and make sure uh, that I'm well clear of that. Check the other mirror and move back in. As the road, this is a Cumberland Road, as it bends round to the right, we're going to make sure we stay in the left as much as we can. I know there's a couple of parked cars there forcing us into the centre, so we just take it a little steady. And when we come to the end of here, we're going to turn right, and that will take us into Dorset Avenue. So we've come from Cumberland Road, come to the end of it, we're going to turn right into Dorset Avenue. Dorset Avenue. It's quite a wide road. Uh, there's lots of cars that are parked along here. Um, there's plenty of opportunity to do kind of parallel parks along here. And also you might be asked to pull in on the kind of other side of the road, the right hand side of the road, and just reverse back a couple of car lengths and then rejoin the traffic. So this would be an ideal opportunity for your examiner to get you to do that. You also might just ask you to pull in and park and then just drive on again. And uh, that will happen maybe three or four times through the test. Now there's a more of a narrow gap here between this, this rows of parked cars. I'm gonna put our car right in the center of that gap. And then I'm gonna move through and out and back onto the left again. So we're on Dorset Avenue. We're going to come to the end of Dorset Avenue in a few seconds. Uh, it's not it's not very far now. And then we're going to turn left when we get to the end of the road and that will put us back onto Gloucester Crescent. Seems to be clear as a car just turned up steaming around here he is, there he goes. <laughs> He's probably uh, you know finished his week, week work for the week and wants to get home now it is friday afternoon so uh it's probably that's what he's doing there so good luck to him hopefully he gets back gets a cup of tea we come to the end of gloucester crescent and turn right now be careful with your indicator because there's a junction on your right there so we want to get at least level at least level with that before we then signal go okay, move into the right hand uh, right turn position next to the lines in the centre and we're coming down to the end of the road here so we're coming to the end of Gloucester Crescent we're turning right and that's going to take us into Stonesby Avenue and when we turn into Stonesby Avenue we'll be going towards Wigston and kind of away from where the Port Pie Island is this is very often a busy road and you might have to wait here for a few seconds just to get the opportunity to pull away again Keep looking both ways though, that's the idea. And um, when you do get your opportunity, it's going to be about your composure. Because you will have been sat here for a little while and it looks like I'm gonna get the chance in a few seconds. And so when you do pull away from here, just make sure you have it in your mind to control the car and not just move. And that way you'll get away without stalling. 
So here we are, we're coming over the bridge on Stonesbury Avenue, and here's where we officially enter into Wigston. See the sign? We're going to take the next road on the left, just where the black uh, van is waiting to pull out. So the next left then takes us into Shackerdale Road. And that's this one here. And again, we're not going to stay on Shackerdale Road for very long because we're going to turn, take the first left. And that's going to take us into Brixham Drive. So here we are, we're turning into Brixham Drive now. We're following this road along. Now, what the instruction you'll get here is to take the third right. So take the third road on the right. The first thing we've got to do is get around this bend. And we're going to make sure we stay well into the left as we go around here. So the third right, we're coming up to the first right now, which is not the one we want. Uh, Tythorn Drive, don't want that one, thank you very much. And we also don't want the second right here which is uh, Linmouth, is it Linmouth? Linmouth Drive. We want the third one, which is going to be called Headington Way. As we turn into Headington Way, what you'll see is it's a fairly quiet kind of side road type of place. And it'd be a good place here for your examiner to get you to do your controlled stop. So don't be surprised if, if it's some round, if not on this road, somewhere around this area, that's where you end up doing the controlled stop manoeuvre. They used to call that emergency stop, right? But now they have to call it controlled stop. It's health and safety gone mad. It's political correctness right there. Anyway, controlled stop. I don't know why they do these things. Anyway, at the end of the road, we're gonna turn left. And that will take us then, so left at the end of Headington Way, uh, turning left back onto Shackdale Road. And we're going to follow this road around. And we'll have the Aberdale pub on the right hand side of the car and the road shops on the left hand side. And we'll take our way down here. Now, just in front of us, there's a 90 degree bend. And I'm going to make sure that I have the car just slow enough into second gear as I go round here, keeping well into the left as I make that turn. What I don't want to do is cross the lines and go into the wrong side of the road there. And when we come to the traffic lights down here, then we're going to turn right. So we're on Shackerdale Road, we're going to turn right onto Asquith Way. Now what we have to do here is make sure we've got good position to start with, uh, next to the centre. And then as we come around, we're going to stay near to the central reservation and we're going to drive over the arrow that says turn right, drive directly over it and then move into the left hand lane onto Asquith Way, which is where we are now. When you get into Asquith Way, it'll say to you, take the next road or the traffic lights turn right. So this is about changing lanes. So we're going to check the mirrors, the door mirror, we're going to uh, indicate, we're going to check the door mirror again, see that it's clear, and then we'll move over. And we actually need to move into the extreme right-hand lane here uh, to make this right turn. And we'll come up to the end of the traffic queue. See this car in front just darted in front. Uh, just darted over the hatch lines there because he, he kind of got it wrong. He didn't realise that this was a right turn lane probably and uh, darted over. So, I mean, that's okay, isn't it? He's not, not done anything. It's not safe, really. <laughs> anyway, we're, I've turned the indicator off now uh, because as we move through here, um, there's a the way that this, this junction is designed, from this lane, you can only go round to the right. So I don't need to indicate. Also, um, when our lights go to green, you'll see there's a green arrow, which means anything that kind of would get in our way from turning right, anything that would prohibit us from turning right, will always be will also be on red. So that means that leaves that clear for us to go. 
we're going to turn into the left lane here and this is now Wigston Lane so we turn right at Asquith Way traffic lights onto uh, Welford Road I call it Wigston Lane tonight it's Welford Road there you go Welford Road is a 30 mile an hour road and again we're driving in the direction that's taken us away from Leicester and back up towards Wigston keep it at 30 there's a sign here that said the speed cameras along this road somewhere so you know double make double efforts to keep to the speed limit we're going to make sure we miss the hatch lines there don't really need to drive over those and uh, also there's parked cars there anyway so that means we need to be a little bit wider in the road now at this point it looks like we're in two lanes so somebody tried to overtake us I'm just going to move over and let him go just when I've got that little gap in the parked cars and there he goes and I'm just going to then move back into a position where I'm missing all of the parked cars completely along here the, the examiner may ask you to pull in and park on the left and then pull away just because it's a busier road and he's asking he's trying to get you to pull into uh, where there's traffic really so it's a bit more of a challenge as we come up to the traffic lights, we're going to move directly back into that kind of left-hand lane because we're going straight ahead. There's a fire engine. As we come along here, this uh, Welford Road has now changed at some point into Leicester Road and uh, we're going to turn right at the roundabout here as we get to the top. Uh, so we're going to stay in this lane at the moment but then again because it's a right turn at the roundabout it's going to be about changing lanes here so i'm going to check my interior mirror door mirror and i'm going to indicate and i'm going to check my mirrors again and then just move over it is clear so i can move over and that's fine okay so it's mirror signal mirror again and then move So as we come up to the traffic island here, uh, we know that we're turning right, so that's why we're in the right hand lane. And these lights have gone to red, so we will have to wait for a few seconds. As you go around this roundabout in particular, the one that's near to McDonald's in Wigston, is that um, you know it's important to, to know where your lanes are and to make sure that you stay in the correct lane. So as we go around, what will happen is we'll be on the lane that's closest to the island. There'll be hatched lines, which will keep us away from the, the actual island itself. But um, we'll keep in the lane that's closest to the island. And then as we go around the top of the roundabout, so to speak, we'll then move out into the left-hand lane to come off of it. So if you pay attention to the road surface here, you'll see exactly what I mean as we go through here. So we're keeping in this lane here, which is the one closest to the island. Then as we go around the top here, we're going to make sure we're going to that left-hand lane before we come off of the roundabout here now. Indicating the left is a cycle lane here, so just make sure that you keep well out of that. No need to go in it. And then uh, we'll come up to this next crossing. So a little bit of a dodgy one, that one. Um, very easy to get it wrong. So just be careful, perhaps go around there a few times with your instructor uh, or whoever it is that's helping you. You're going to turn left at the crossroads though, which is going to take us into kind of like the Wigston town centre. We're actually in a 20 mile an hour zone at this moment. So if we leave the car in second gear, that will help us to keep it at 20 or below. Okay, actually I've seen this, that's good. Just looking to me right there to see if my brother was standing outside that port but he, he wasn't so that's okay <laughs> i mean it's okay if he's in the pub of course it is but you know sometimes he is sometimes he isn't anyway here we are we just we just stopped on this road now and uh, just moving forward so like i said it's a 20 zone this is long street in wigston and it's where all the shops are obviously as you can see i'm going to go through the crossing which is fine there's a mini roundabout here now 
going to go straight ahead at the mini roundabout making sure that we can clear the box junction first of all and we're looking for a, a space or a blocker and there's our blocker there the red uh, ford and we can move on obviously this lady has pressed the button on the crossing the crossing has changed colors so now we're just going to wait and let these people cross It's quite a busy little area and that's why it's 20. Just as we cross over the the um, mini roundabout back there though, it changed from 20 back to a 30 mile an hour zone. So at this point now we're back up into the 30s. Although you don't have to do 30, it's just that that speed limit has now changed. The road seems to be clear in front of us at the moment. so. Uh, that's very unusual. I, I don't think that's going to stay like that for very long. There's uh, nobody on the zebra crossing, so or waiting there to cross. So we're absolutely fine to go through there. And it looks like someone's trying to park ahead of us. So again, I'm going to slow down. I'm going to give them more room than they need, more time, more space. That then gives me lots of time and space as well. As we come down to the roundabout, remember that we're on Long Street, we're going to turn left, so it's left really at the end of this road, uh, at the mini roundabout, and that's going to take us into Moat Street. So let's just see, again we're looking for a space or a blocker, there's a space. That takes us into Moat Street here. Very good. And the next um, instruction you'll get again will be to take the third road on the right the third right so this is the first one just near this uh, um, bathroom place just there that's the first one and so the second one is along here where Sainsbury's is the third one is just beyond that it does look like we're coming up to a traffic queue and actually it's temporary lights here now so what we're gonna to have to do is just wait here temporary lights tend to take a little bit longer than your normal lights do so here we are we're coming up to the junction now and it's the next right and that's Horsewell Lane make sure we turn into the left hand side of Horsewell Lane and follow this road along now this is a very long road this one and there's lots of kind of little pitfalls along it so because it's so long um, it's easy then just to relax back a little bit and just kind of let your concentration drop a, a bit as well but please don't do that because look here for instance there's a little situation where I've just got to wait for the white van to come through it's just thanked me you're very welcome and uh, you know so there's all these types of things still going on and it's quite a bendy road and uh, because it's a bendy road, when you bend round to the right, really important that you stay in on the left hand side of the road. This is a hill for instance, and you may be asked to pull in and park on this hill and then drive on again, and that'll be your kind of hill start exercise then, won't it? There'll be a few times when they ask you to pull in and park, and then just drive on again. It won't always be obvious uh, why it is, but there'll always be a reason. Now, so as we travel down this road we're just going to keep a good position and a reasonable speed it's a 30 mile an hour road we're not going to do 30 it's far too bendy so as we're coming into this right hand bend just making sure that i stay in on the left and follow the route of the road around route of the bend around really and not get not get any closer to the uh, center of the road than it was originally So the next thing we need to be aware of as we come along here, well first of all again we've got another hill to climb and uh, that's going to take us past uh, the co-op. Now this co-op on the right hand side, you know, you may be asked to pull in there and do some bay parking. It's an ideal opportunity that is to get people to do that. There's also a car park there as well uh, where you might do that as well. So uh, outside some shops. So you know that might be something that happens on your test so you can see it's got all the kind of elements to it this um, test route 
the next thing to be aware of is we're coming up to some speed bumps and there's a sign here which says safety zone sign for school patrol and it's you know there's a black box with a white background that says maximum 20 when lights flash so what it's saying there is at school times when it says school run time should i say um you know do only 20 do make sure you're doing 20 or below uh, just so, just to be safe where all the children are milling around it's only because it's a black box and it's not in a red ring it's just an advisory thing but it's good advice so do take it now as we come along here we can see the roads a little bit blind there's a bit of a blind bend we're just going to follow that around bend around to the left following this all the way along to the end now. At some point uh, this road has now become Launston Road <laughs> so the road changed name uh, but that's where we are now. Again I'm just going to slow down, time my approach here so that I can go through that gap. As you can see, we'll come to the end of the road and there'll be a mini roundabout there. And at that mini roundabout, we're going to turn left. So it's taking us from Launceston Road and into Station Road. Uh, once it's clear to do that, we're looking for a space or a blocker. That would, would have been a blockage, took, took a little bit of time there though. And here's a space anyway. So we now moved into Station Road in uh, Wigston and uh, we're heading kind of towards now from Wigston itself into South Wigston. And there's another one of those signs with the school patrol and the, the advisory 20 mile an hour speed limit. And that's because there's another school here, it's a big school this time, there's about two schools on the left hand side. And again, at around you know school run time when all the all the kids are going in and out, uh, then we must be really careful as we drive along this bit. As we come round this bend at that time, this crossing is very often on red. It's a very very well used crossing. Uh, today it's half term, so we're okay. The lights are on green and we can go through. some more traffic lights now we're just going to go straight ahead and these lights once they've gone to green we're still on station road in Wigston and we're just following this road down now into South Wigston we'll go over the railway bridge in a few seconds but first of all we'll pass the uh, swimming bus I think it's still a swimming bus I've not been uh, to there for a long time so <laughs> let's see years, decades since I went swimming there. Oh here we go. Lights have gone to green. Just gonna check. Yep, still a swimming bath, that's good. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna drive through here, going up the hill and over the bridge, over the railway bridge. Take it nice and easy, nice and steady going down past Liddles and on to Tesco, on to, uh, as we go past also Tesco's. We're now entering into South Wigston according to the sign. And just down here there's a mini roundabout and we'll just be going straight ahead of the mini roundabout. Now there's no left turn here. Uh, there's only a right turn which takes you then into Tesco's, so we're not going to Tesco's, uh, we're going straight ahead here, so we want to be in the left lane. Nice and easy, always busy this little roundabout here because Tesco's is there, such a big one. And then we're going to just go straight ahead around into, uh, still on this station road here. It's quite a long one, isn't it? 
So we can see the traffic now, uh, you know, has increased, has multiplied uh, quite, quite significantly. There's another mini roundabout here as well. And again, we're just going to follow the road straight ahead here. So we're looking for a space or a blocker, nice big space to the right there, so we can just drift through and coming off the roundabout here like this. Uh, back into the queue of traffic. Don't know, I don't think it's been caused by this bus. I think there's perhaps a crossing down there that people are using. But this would be a real bonus, wouldn't it? If this is your driving test now, It'd be a real bonus because look how it's slowed everything down and it's making it really really easy just to carry on that's just a crossing that's on red there now it's gone back to green and we can then start to move forward Um, there's a junction on the right with a box junction in front of it so you wouldn't normally keep those open but this time just because there's a box junction there and there's someone waiting to turn out I'm just leaving that uh, junction on the right open and I'm going to allow this person to turn out if I can do I can't actually because there's all traffic coming so I wasn't able to help her on that occasion another yellow box junction here so do be careful as you come down this road that you don't end up stopping on any of those and across it so you can see uh, you know why there's the traffic moves quite slowly along this bit here really with all the crossings and box junctions and junctions on the left and on the right uh, just you know every now and again holding the traffic up like flashing down but it's fine for us to go if the crossing's clear so we can move on and it's just bringing us down now as we come to the next set of lights i'm not going to go into the left hand lane like i normally would i'm going to stay in the right hand lane because i want to turn right at the second set of lights here from this point so i'm staying in the right hand lane first set of lights I'm going straight ahead but the second set of lights I'm turning right so that's why I stayed in the right hand lane there and uh, when this this car moves on then we'll be able to move into the junction now there's a crossing here as well so be careful when you move forward if you have to wait in the centre that you don't stop on the crossing but we've not had to this time and we're just going round into Saffron Road again not Saffron Way you understand like I said in the other videos but Saffron Road and that's going to take us back up towards Tigers Road now which is where the test centre is at this point do be careful a few years back I had someone on driving test and they I was sitting in the back of the test and they passed right up to this point now at this point there was a cyclist on the left and he had no marks on his sheet up to now when he overtook the cyclist about here and then he turned left into, into Tigers Road in front of the cyclist couldn't believe it and he was absolutely gutted as well as you can imagine as we come around here um, then we're coming back to where the test centre is and we'll turn right into the test centre car park